Virginia Frankel here. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit more about some, a theme that I have talked about in previous videos, um, and that is the use of design elements in resumes. I'm a fan of them, um, not graphics for graphics sakes, but when design elements or graphics help to tell a story in a concise manner, I do like to use them. However, I know a lot of people shy away from them because they can't be read by ATS. You know, anything in a text box, a chart, a graph, header, footer, you name it, if it's in a text box or it's in the header or footer, it cannot be read. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't still incorporate them. And that's what I want to show you how to do in this resume. So um, in this resume, you see that I created a por portfolio snapshot for my client. He had a lot of really good numbers that are pretty valuable. But sometimes when there's just so many numbers, it can be overwhelming and they get lost. Um, so what I did to make that um, more easily readable for that person who's just taking that quick six second glance is I created a text box that shows sort of all of the uh, most meaningful stats that I wanted to share. Um, so great for the reader, but uh, ATS isn't going to give the job applicant credit for any of them unless I make sure to incorporate those details elsewhere in the text, um, which I did. So $2.3 million book of business, it's right here in this text. 9% um, year-over-year portfolio growth, right there. Um, so as you can see, all of these bits of information that are in the text box are also elsewhere in the text. Um, that way ATS can read it and human beings can read it. 